Today we're going to show you how we use the anaerobic digester. So I take all of the stinky kitchen waste, um, it goes in a five gallon bucket, and then whenever it's full I come out here and because I'm trying to monitor what's going through this machine, I actually do weigh it. So there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of fluids in here, but I take that because my, my mixtures are consistent. So it's 19 pounds. So it goes into this sink here, and there's an insincorator here, like a little bit stronger garburator. And um, it'll mash up all this stuff and turn it into a slurry, which goes into this tank down here. So you can see it's going to go through this insincorator into the tank. So I'm going to pour it in, and you get to see kind of like, wow, what did we do this week? Well, we were making apple crisp for sure, and we were squeezing limes for something else, and there's passion fruit, and there's, I have a vegetarian staying with me right now, so there's absolutely no meat in here. Anyhow, I turn the motor on, and I put my glasses on just in case something spits up into my face, and I, I just push it through here with this stick until it's all gone. And if it starts to get a little bit too thick, then I measure how much water goes through. I have this container that's four liters, and I'll monitor how much goes in there. So I just, this is, this is what I do with my garbage once a week. And the really great thing about it is that I'm closing the nutrient cycle by taking my farm waste and my kitchen waste and running it through the digester and creating fertilizer and also creating methane to burn. So, so once that's done, I just rinse the sink out and put the little top back on it so that rodents and flies and things don't get attracted to the smell. So this machine is all automated and it has um, paddles inside the tanks that keep the slurry in suspension and that happens for eight seconds four times a day and then there's another pump down here inside there it's um, a bilge pump from a boat and it's on a timer and it pumps for um, eight seconds once a day and I can set all these things if I want more methane then I'll run material through quicker. If I want to have a more finished bioavailable fertilizer, I'll run it slower. So this tank here is completely enclosed and there's heat cables wrapped around it and then insulation all around that. And that's kept it about between whatever I decide to do, 32 to 38 degrees centigrade. So that's where the gas is building up. And the gas comes out of a hose right over here. So the gas, this is completely airtight in here. This is the anaerobic digester in this container. So it comes out here and the gas is purified. It runs through uh, a carbon material which takes out the hydrogen sulfide. Then it runs through calcium carbonate that dewaters the gas. And then the gas goes into a container behind here. And uh, as the pressure builds, it turns a switch on that turns a bar fridge compressor and compresses the gas into these containers. Over here is where the fertilizer comes out. And we take the fertilizer. pretty liquidy and then we run it through here the little filter we made so this has got so much liquid I'm running it pretty watery right now but what happens is that the the solids get trapped on top and then the liquid goes down below if we're doing hydroponics that'll be pasteurized if not it'll be spread as is and this is the material that comes off of the uh, top. 
So it's a, a beautiful, very stable uh, soil amendment, high cation uh, exchange capacity, loaded up with nutrients and that can be used as a soil amendment. And over here is where I can cook and um, the way I run it is about, I would say about 15 to 20 minutes of burn a day, but I can get it up to half an hour or whatever, depending on maybe more, depending on what I put in. If I put a bit of glycerin in there, then that pops up the um, gas production and also gives me a higher potassium in my nutrient. So that's what's happening here with the digester.